everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I st still working on the Miss A haul so I broke it up into three videos because I just didn't think that an hour long video you know you might get tired of seeing the stuff and this way we can break it up a little bit um, alright so we'll start with this bag that is already open where I had started to try to do the video and my SD card had gotten full and I didn't even realize it so, apparently, I have two of this scarf as well. I have a thing, you know, I, I want to start wearing scarves because I, I want to be all fashion-y, you know? I'm not very girly girl, but they're a dollar. I figured if I needed to dress up in a hurry, I can I have on a t-shirt and jeans. I can toss one of these on and maybe a nice necklace and look just a little more put together. Or I can give them away as gifts, or I can turn them into throw pillows, or I can do whatever I want, right? This is a nice feeling one. Um, I like the colors in it. What do you think, guys? Pretty? Pretty colors? I hope you can see them. Anyway, I have two of these, and of course this one's folded in half still, because they don't think that people are... Four foot ten. Think if people were normal sized. All right. So lots you can do with the scarf. It seems a bit like. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I ran the battery dead again. I uh, well, what I was trying to say is this scarf seems more square, really. So anyway, it's not quite as long, but it's yeah. You know, I I think I like them better a little longer and thinner than um this one. But again, this one would make a good shawl because it is longer. It's more square. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, and I love the colors. It just, you know, something I noticed. And somehow I ended up, like I said, with a second one of that same one. And I have this pink one, and this may be my second. Apparently, I thought I better get two while I can get them. I must have done that on purpose. Maybe I was thinking I would give some in giveaways because they are so pretty. Get this open. I hate this plastic bag. You can never find the end that opens. They need to put like a um, colored strip or something instead of the clear. This thing is clear. <laughs> if it was blue or something, you could find it. All right. This one's a nice. Oh, that's a thing. So like a. This is just a really nice pinkish, peachish. Um, it's very sheer. I like that it's longer and a little um, more narrow than the last one. It's kind of a crinkly material. My pretty much my favorite color. So this one I probably really will get some wear out of because I can toss it over, you know, something that's more plain, dress it up. Or something that's more patterned maybe that has pink in it. Since this is a solid collar, you know, I don't know. I was just thinking. All right, guys, that is that one. We have one more in this one. And it's this little, whoops, little one. Try not to show my address. Let's see what's in it. A third one of these. That might be the only thing that's in here. And apparently it needed a bubble wrapping. It could not be in the same package with the other ones. And apparently it's breakable. So they really bubble wrapped it. Kind of weird. I don't know if there's something else in here with it. But thank you, Miss A, for protecting my scarf. I didn't mean to get three of the same exact collar. Sometimes I wonder if you try to order more, you know, other collars and they might just substitute. Well, we don't have that. You already paid. So instead of sending uh, the blue one, we'll send you two pink ones. Or three pink ones. Whatever the case may be. And it looks like that's all that's in this. It's kind of odd that they would, I mean, that's it. That and the packing slip. So guys, I have three of that one. So obviously one of these will go in the giveaway. I did it again, guys. I shop with Miss A. But stuff's a dollar. 
I'm a shopaholic. Let's face it. Shopaholic. Say it with me. My name is Michelle, and I am a shopaholic. They say that admitting, you know, acknowledging, that's half the battle right there, right? Okay. This one is a smaller order. I'm trying to get everything out so we get this bag out of the way. Alright, so, first of all, I got some fabric markers. I got one in every color that they had when I bought them. I was a little disappointed that they were sold out of black, because obviously black is the color you would need the most. But I got a chestnut brown and a warm gray. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different colors. <clears throat> and they have like two ends. They have a fine point and a chisel point. So there's our chisel point on that end. And our fine point on that end. Oh, here's my paper. I was using earlier. We'll swatch on the same paper. I'll use the fine end. There's chestnut brown. Well, no, I'll use the chisel end because I think you'll be able to see it better. So there's chestnut brown and next to that is the gray. Now it doesn't, not going to look as good on paper because it's meant for fabric. Purple, deep violet it says. And next to that one is going to be brilliant blue. Orange. What color is it supposed to be? Just orange. Nothing fancy. Just orange. Well, they're all working so far. And red. Carmine. So I'm going to go green, which is vivid green. And then we have mint green light next to that green. And then we're going to do a lemon yellow. It's kind of hard to see on the paper. And then we have sky blue. I mean, we'll be able to do something with these. The brown doesn't look all that brown. The brown is the first color and next to it is the gray. There's the colors. But, you know, we'll be able to do something with that, right? I figured the kids would enjoy, you know, possibly doodling on a t-shirt if I get some white t-shirts or something. Um, we'll see how they work and if they stay on or if they wash off. They're a dollar a piece. So we have $10 right here. So hopefully they last long and wash well. Hello, sugar and spice. My kitty cats, two of them, decided to join the party here. All right, so the thing I got two of um, are regular old sponge eyeshadow applicators. And I think there's like 10 in the box. 10 or 12, I don't know. But I got two boxes of them because I know everybody uses brushes, but you know, I grew up using sponge applicators and I feel like I would have a little more luck using them. So I bought those. And then I bought Nail and Cuticle Repair. I bought three different kinds. I bought jasmine, I bought peach, and I bought strawberry. Sounds like you ought to be eating them. Well, not the jasmine, but. So that's the boxes. I didn't hold them up very long, I know. Sorry. One of them was already coming open, the strawberry one. We'll open it, it'll be easier. So, huh, it's like a brush. Let me see, what does it say? Twist the bottom of the pen clockwise until oil reaches the brush tip. So there's like an air bubble here, but you twist this up until it. Do, 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 do. My hand got tired, I had to switch hands. Oh my goodness, guys. It is like, you know, 
pushing the air out. Come on. I'll fast forward this probably, or, you know, edit some of it out. Hmm. Take the lid off and see if it's... It's there. And it smells kind of like strawberry. So you'd brush this onto around your cuticles and things. And my because I wash my hands as much as I do, my cuticles, like everybody's, you know, but get particularly dry and, you know, end up with hangnails and all of that. It says brush on top and underneath the nail. Gently massage until the skin completely absorbed. Note, cover the cap after use. Yeah, because you don't want it to dry out. So, you know, you brush it around your cuticle, and I guess under your nail as well, and then rub it in good. And it will um, condition the skin, and make sure that you push back your cuticles, because you don't want it growing down your nail, and then cracking and peeling and, you know, getting all sore, and, you know, we get those hangnails when we pull them, and then they bleed, and then they hurt, and so I'll do this off camera. I did my thumb twice now, but, now I want to sniff it. It smells so good. So that is really nice. I'm glad that I bought the three that I did. And there was at least two or three more that I didn't buy. And you know what? I like this so well. I think I'm going to go back and buy those scents as well. But the strawberry one smells really good. Um, I don't really want to crank all of these up. And, um, you know, I'd rather use one up and then throw it away and then use the next one because I don't know if it's going to have any leakage or anything and I don't want it to dry out or go to waste or even with the lid on it I worry but those are nice I'm glad I bought the three and like I said I think I'll buy the other scents that I didn't already purchase all right and then surprise surprise I got some scarves because they had some they sell out very quickly their scarves do so when I am able to get one I like to grab it and this one um, is a, do everything in love, it says, is a, um, they call it infinity scarves or something, where it's just like a big joined loop. It's green and white. So it's one big loop, and then you can, you know, wear it, like, sort of doubled up or whatever. I thought I would try it. I, I don't know if I can pull off the scarf real well. Um, I did wear one the other day, and it, and it did look kind of cute, so, but, yeah, so, that didn't necessarily go with this, but, I don't know, I like them, I don't know how much I'll wear them, but I bought them, but these are very similar, these next two, um, I got both colors that they had, this one is Choke, and the other one is Pink, not very pink, but taupe and pink. Get them open. They have a lot of like um, hand. I don't know if you maybe you would consider this embroidery. Um, it's like thicker than embroidery. You know, it's more like yarn rather than embroidery cloth or thread. But it is really pretty, guys. trying to see isn't it pretty so um so that's on both ends and then it's real no something down real sheer as you can see you can probably see me i can see you um but then like this hand um well it's machine sound but isn't it pretty so you can either you know wear it sort of shawl like you know over your shoulders or you know or kind of you know more scarf like whatever there's lots of ways of wearing a scarf right i've seen people wear it kind of more like this I don't know. I just think they're pretty, and I'm getting quite the collection at a dollar a piece. So there's that one that it matches with 
So this one in the pink, which I think is more of a sort of a light mauve or mauve color than pink, but with the same type design on it. Maybe that goes more with this shirt. So, again, very sheer. Can you see me? Isn't that really lovely? I wonder if these are made like in India. No, it says love of fashion in New York. though. So. Alrighty. Well, that's the little small haul that I got this time. I told you I didn't get as much. Not oh, there's something else. A pair of earrings. I can take them out of the plastic so you can see them. Butterflies. And it's got like, I'm gonna get them up close because you need to see them. They got like little, uh, like mother of pearl flowers and little pearls. And aren't these kind of pretty? I hope you can see them. I hope they're focusing. Anyway, I don't wear really dangly earrings very often because. I can imagine the cats would get a hold of them and rip them out, but I thought those were really, really pretty. So I bought them. And again, they're a dollar. Everything I bought today uh, was a dollar. Occasionally I get something that's like a dollar fifty-five or a dollar eighty-eight or you know, but most everything, most ninety-five percent at least of what I buy is just a dollar. So all of this and it was ten. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 bucks. So what do you think? Let me know. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> it smells like strawberry lip gloss, but don't lick it. <laughs> that cuticle oil. Um, please give me a big old thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried Masse yet, because if you haven't, you should, but it's addictive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what do you think? Do you think those markers are going to, those fabric markers, do you think they're going to hold up to some washing? What do you think? I'm not sure, but I'm going to try them. And I uh, think the scarves are pretty. I think they are. And please subscribe to my channel and please share my video so others might subscribe as well. And thank you for watching and listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in another video in just a moment. Bye guys. <laughs>